All right, so this recap was provided by Mr. Horizon. It's not like a specific set time after this this adventure. It's just nebulously in the future. Oh, my thinking was this was like uh, Gal's asking what he missed. Also that. That works too. In the in-game chat, if you all would. I fear no weapon. That thing, it scares me. No. I I talk about how that went. All right. He's not here, is he? I get sprag. Can smell off. One shudders to imagine what indescribable machinery lies behind. What engines of chronic and sustained cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only in our setting can you go from Lovecraftian body horror to the most well-executed fart joke in history. I, I think I gave you too much credit. I think I'm giving myself enough credit. Thank you very much. I'm just saying we're probably not the first to do this. I think it's very on brand for us. We're not the first to make Rhinox fart. No. <laughs> Forced to fart. You're Going allowed. To fart forced to wipe. No, no. I'm giving you the the setup and joke timing. I'm not giving you credit for originality, though. That that's fair. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, cut back to where the last session w- left off. Uh, Primal gives an entire, uh, very inspiring speech, but also not really because it focuses on the potential risk of someone in here dying. But, you know, Maximals, Primes, Maximize, War Cry, uh, everyone describe your War Cry. I don't, think we have, I don't think we have one. We don't have, we don't need voice activated transformations. We can just say whatever we want. <laughs> the, the awkward silence is your War Cry is what I'm getting from this. <laughs> you get, you, you get a silent gunshot. <laughs> take okay. or leave it <laughs> okay all right so all of you just storm what remains of the front gate <laughs> you run past the obliterated remains of terror store and quick dry quick strike and you see i plug my nose as i do so absolutely and you see him however happy you look to see him he looks even less happy to see you Along with two of his underlings. Rotorback has a big, stupid grin on her face. After the fart. Those are nice renders. Those last two. I've never seen those before. Oh, they're from uh, Forge to Fight. It's a mobile game. Oh! Oh. Their designs are on point, surprisingly. I did not know they were in it. Go ahead and place yourselves at the bottom. He looks like he has bandages around his mat. mat Face. Yeah, primal's huge. Jeez. I'm getting like uh, Thanos adjacent vibes from that mouth. <laughs> is it? Is it just me? Who from Primal? <laughs> no, for uh, Megatron. Megatron? And eh, eh, kind of. I can kind of see it. Megatron, the T Rex. I'm like Megatron, the Megatron. God. Where it back? Did you change your icon art? Yeah, it's the prime yeah. version. Yeah. Does anyone that have some? Nice. Uh, does anyone have some? Uh, some thoughts they'd like to uh, belt out before this huge epic battle? Dinosaur. I look at I look at Quasar with a like what the frag look. All right. All right, Rhino. I just fart again. We're all set. Uh, I, I don't have I don't have it in me. That, no, it took a lot. What did you do now? It it took a lot out of me. Or maybe one of the other guys can fart. Cat guy, can you fart? Cheetor like braces, like he's straining really hard. Yeah, but, that, but then he just coughs up a hairball. Wow. Oh. <laughs> no, wrong way. That was not what I was expecting, but that's a start. 
Best I got is a hands thing. <laughs> I, don't I mean, I can breathe. I can breathe fire, but I don't think I want to try the other side. <laughs> Megatron is just going to interrupt <laughs> this inane rambling with. So, <laughs> these are the unfortunate recruits you have chosen to ally yourself with, Primal. I did enjoy our conflict for quite some time, but you have outlived your entertainment value. And as such, as a punishment for defying me for so long, I will let you live. Long enough to watch me slaughter your new friends. Yes. Well, that was very thoughtful of it. Hey! Those are awful big and brave words from someone who couldn't even pick his own unique name. Oh! You two-bit lizard. Uh -huh. She you called you two-bit. You know what? Re, give me a d20 mm -hmm. for emotional damage. Uh, I forgot to get my dice out. Because I took a floor. Another. My god, if this kills him. I'm sorry. That uh, would be hilarious. Well, I'll get to get to get to I'm just gonna use the real quick. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good. He takes 15 emotional damage. Yeah. And Megatron is just going to point at Lightblaze and say, So you volunteer to die first, then? Everyone roll me initiative. Oh, yeah, 22. Could... Rotorback, wow. Damn. Could you, could you add me to the lineup? I got you, Back fam. Away. Wow. That's bad. Well, that's not what bad. A total of four. Yeah, oh. right. Sorry, Light, but it's nice knowing you. I can't believe I this is, this is gonna get just wrecked by a T-Rex or something. Scrap. This is gonna happen. This is happening. Okay. So um before the combat starts, uh I'm gonna use my mark target ability. I'm glad you said that because Scorponok is going to use his mark target ability. Yes. On light blaze. Wait, Scorponok scout? Yes. Oh. Something. It's a Mexican not, scout. Not a scout. Out. He's not not a scout. Anyway. Okay. So I'm just gonna mark the three uh Predacons I see here. Uh myself and uh primal. And I'm gonna pass on these benefits to Light Blaze, who probably needs it. So congratulations. Yeah. Against these five things, any roll you make against them gets an upshift. Yay. Where are you getting five from? Oh, uh, at level 13, I can mark up to five creatures I see. No, I get that. Where are the five creatures, though? The three Predacons, yes. myself, and Lightblaze. Oh, I thought they had... Okay, the phrasing threw me off. I thought you were referring to enemy creatures. Friendly fire. No, no. No. We, we tried that once, remember? No. Of course, Waspinator gets the lowest initiative. That's on brand for him. Megatron, buddy, I went through like four names, and so far I had no overlap. You can do better. <laughs> you got big head and little arms. What? At least do the voice. What? I don't, I don't know the voice. Okay. Uh, for Trash Talk, Cries is going to do his best approximation to a voice he heard in a movie. Go on. As a jigger, as a man, as a man, all you have to try to do. What? It's great what? because whatever you're doing with your hands over your mouth means we could not understand a single word. Yeah, exactly. it just came out like Bane. Horizon, Horizon's voice box on the fritz, y'all. You guys haven't seen Meet the Robinsons? I have. I actually have oh not. My, no. Really? I forgot. God. I've, I've got, got a big a head got... and little arms. I've got a big head and little arms. Except it's a T Rex roaring it. Yes, I'm more. Okay. I I okay, that was literally what I was referencing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't do the voice. I didn't remember the voice. I've watched the <laughs> movie like once. It, it's Fair. been a minute. It's been a hot minute. That's like, what, 20, 2010? Yeah, something like that. Uh, I believe that's everyone. Uh, uh, Top of the round, Rudderback, what you doing? We should probably take out the little guys first. That would be a wise idea. That's, what does that say? 
55. Um, that's like the fastest I could go, though. So that would be like my whole turn just getting in. And, in Even with your free actions? Space. Uh, I guess I do have a lot of those, don't I? You um, do. Let's try Grimlock Sword, I guess. Let's, right, let's see it. And yeah, that hits. Wow. Woo. All right. So how much? Um, uh, two slashing. I just didn't know if you took the two extra down shifts or not. Uh, no, I. I'm not ready to deal with that. All right. Anything else? No, that's about it. All right. Rhinox's turn. It's going oh, to boy. convert into Rhino mode. He's New like the beast mode, one might say. Is beast mode. Ooh. Listen, I had to get out of the way so wow. that it didn't come up later. 24 and it's a crit. <laughs> Waspinator so... is straight up dead. <laughs> yeah, that's 10 damage. Ah. Huh. Where? Waspinator is straight kinda... That's kind of normal for him. He just, like, the minute the battle starts, he's the first one to get wasted. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys see Rhinox just charge into him, and he just explodes, basically, into a million pieces. And his last words are, in slow motion, as he's watching Rhinox speed towards him, Why does universe hate Waspinator? Crash. Is that, is that actually what he sounds like? Yes. In the yes. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised my voice can get that squeaky. Yeah, man, good for you. Also, I I feel kind of bad. <laughs> In character? Yeah. Yeah. So Horizon and Rotorac just watch this happen <laughs> with, like, secondhand embarrassment. Uh, it reminds me of the first time I got completely dismantled. Good times. This reminds me of, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> what was two weeks ago? I shot myself. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> huh. oh. Primal is going to turn into his gorilla mode. Do some running. Monkey. Monkey. Okay. Okay. He's gonna punch. He's gonna punch again. Those do not do anything at all. Wow. <laughs> He just sits there and tanks it. Uh, I can fix that later. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, so Megatron just says, Just as weak as the day that you were forged. Smack. Just, just backhands him. Backhands wow. the monkey. With which hand? The, the T-Rex hand. Oh, ow. It doesn't do anything mechanically. It's just embarrassing. Megatron's oh, turn. Okay, I thought that was his turn. Okay, okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh right. Enemy spotted. <laughs> you know what the fun part is? Uh. Emotional damage is still damage. Now you get to know what's like having a big thing running straight at you. <laughs> I mean, hasn't it happened a lot of before? Don't know. I don't think lockdown counts. Cause there's not lockdown. Death's head yeah. on the, the train heist. And oh, that's I, right. I wouldn't count uh, it. Uh, no. That's it, I think. So, since he's mm -hmm. already taken damage, mm -hmm. oh. he, he's going to rage. He's going to what? He's going to rage. Oh, he's a barbarian. <laughs> he's going to rage for five turns. Uh oh. Oh. Turn into his dino mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it mark target, edge, blah, 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 blah. Hey, oh, likewise, does oh, a 30 God. hit? Y yeah. And it's a crit. Oh. Uh, go ahead and take four oh. blunt, and you are knocked prone. Okay. And since he gets an extra attack. Mm -hmm. Um, so light blaze. What do you think is more concerning? Just generally, what you hear or what you see? Just... I think in this specific situation, it'll be what I hear. You hear rumbling. I hear rumbling? You hear rumbling. Uh -huh. oh. And oh, he no, opens his dino mouth, you. and you, 
you see like a glow rising out of his mouth. Oh. Uh huh. And uh, he's gonna gonna do some fire. Yes, with the downshifts. I know one of you is gonna say it. <sighs> Megatron's going to use a story point. I forgot they could do that. They can do that. I just choose not to. It's getting worse. Oh. So I plays. You are thoroughly singed. Most of your armor is like lightly melted, but you're fine. Shockingly. Wait. Did you do a downshift for durability and armor? Yes. And for shooting a point blank? Yes. Okay. Megatron's turn. It's Sheedor's turn. It's gonna do a scratch. Maybe not. Scratch him. That would be impressive if it hit. Yeah. And because Megatron has reactions, it's gonna twenty eight and it's a crit. No. Uh he just chomps down on Cheetor. He's not dead. He doesn't look good by any means. He's stuck in a T Rex's mouth. Uh past turn, Scorpinox turn. First. Turn into Scorpion mode. It's going to sting Rotorback. I'm guessing a 14 doesn't do it. Oh, Rotorback's VR being, but yeah, 14 doesn't it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, uh, However, Scorponok is going to lend assistance to Megatron. I realize I phrase that awkwardly, but it's a perk, not a actual lend assistance action. It's the um going to the give. thing that that Horizon does with his. Yeah, he's giving two upshifts to Megatron, and I guess one to himself. No, that's more of a, that's more of a you thing. It's me. Th <laughs> Interesting. Quasar, what do? Uh, let me check. He's augmenting power. He's augmenting power. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. That was a select. Come here. Oh, yeah. oh, he's close. Yeah, Rotorback. Yeah, he tried to right sting now. you twice, but it it whiffed horribly. Wow. So. Remember what I did to Inferno? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that again. All right, let's see it. I don't. It's a. I have my. All right. Uh, my minicon with me. It's a auto crit, even with the downshifts. All right, what's that damage? Wow. How much was it again? It was stun damage. I did. That's not a number. <laughs> she was thirty-two. Wait, what? What? That yeah, it was it's two for every stun damage. It's two stun stand stun damage for every attack. And they asked crit, so that's six per turn. Oh, never mind. Yeah, where did yeah six hurt? per turn. It's six? It's yep, and that's critted. So that's, so that's twelve. Twelve. And that's twelve. For one attack. Okay. I get three attacks. Ooh. Don't you what? you get so, three you you get that math sounds approximately correct. Doesn't sound right, but I Hold on. I I can't I can't see your work to dispute that. We later realized after the session the math was in fact incorrect because we did not understand crits. This ultimately did not affect the results of the combat but will be rectified in later sessions. Anyway, so that's an auto to... success, which means it's just... Yeah. It's, it's, it's just uh, the th three? Per? Six. 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 It's oh. six per attack, yeah. So it'd be six, twelve. I'm trying to figure out where... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How are you able to do six damage in a single, like... Attack is my question. The sniper, you uh, can downshift to yep. gain more damage. Oh, okay, that's what it is. I was very confused. And okay. then, yeah, and then special flexibility, instead of doing damage, it gains stun too. That's at right. 10th level. Okay. Okay, the, ma the math is confusing, but the math maths out. It, is, it does track. Like I said, it's just I was trying to figure out where the math was coming from. Okay. So, 18 stun damage. I, I think we're going to have to nerf that. 
Mm-hmm. This is why requisition rules are a thing. Yep. All right, Quasar, anything else? Uh, I moved. I can't. I don't have any more reactions. Otherwise, I would try to get his attention on me. And you can just do that by being yourself. Also, you just nah. blew a hole in the sky. That, that certainly got his attention. Yes. How do you come fight me and see what real fire feels like? Because he still has Cheetor in his mouth. What? Drop what did it. I miss? Uh, Cheetor tried to scratch him. Megatron used his reaction to just chomp down on him. And also, uh, Quasar's gun is, is overpowered. I meant I... That part I was here for. So yeah, he's okay. just got a still barely alive Cheetor just stuck in his mouth. Drop no. him! Drop it! Not cat friend. Quasar, is that your turn? Yeah. Alright, Eraser's turn. Uh, Rotorback looks like she's having a time. So, Neum. You know, mm-hmm. like, you know, like Neum. You know, like Neum. 28, and it's a crit. He's not down, but oof. How does six points of fire damage taste? Scorpionock? Spicy. And then she's gonna scream. <laughs> Man, what mood. Wait, oh, oh, that's a crit. Oh, as an attack. Okay. <laughs> no. And she's also screaming, yeah, okay. but she's screaming. You know, like... Waspinator's turn. I just realized I don't know if that came through because I didn't want to stare to my microphone in case it was very loud. Waspinator comes back with a single point of health, but he comes back. Uh, Of course he does. Uh. And uh, he's going to sting Rhinox. Wow. That does (laughs) nothing. Surprising no one. Well, he's very in character today. Thank you. I worked very hard on him. Yellow's going to move. Move. He's gonna aim at Waspinator. That misses. He's gonna aim again. Waspinator's down again. <laughs> but is he out? I'm Unclear. alive. Horizon, what you doing? Gonna He's take, back. Gonna take a step back. Uh, s- switch from rifle to bow. Okay. And yeah, just gonna. First one's free on Megatron. Yep. Second one's free on Megatron. All right, we'll just cut to the end. How much? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's going to be three sharp. Nope, six sharp total. Six and, sharp total? Uh, and he's going to lose uh, three toughness. Nice, love to see it. And just so we're clear, I am aiming for his teeth. You knock like three teeth out. As I do. Not enough to be like super effective, but it happens. I'm just trying to make it suck a little less for Cheetor. And the teeth are still in him. Yeah, but oh. it, it's going to be harder to bite down. Yeah, that's true. Anything else? No, that's it. Alright, so Light Blaze. What you doing? I'm trying to remember. So with standing up from prone, that's half my movement, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, so first I'm, I'm gonna stand up. Up, upsie doopsie. And it's time to do what I do best. Yeah. Yeah, which is a sword. Uh huh. Let's see it. Which is, it's electric. Da, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Da, da. Yep. Uh, we, we know so how got, it goes. Well, Lookie, so I got, woogie, woogie. So I'm going to um. Poise it so it's an upshift of one, and then I get an upshift from Horizon, so it's an upshift of two, which mm-hmm. brings it from a d12 to 3d6. I don't think that hits. Uh, what was Poise it? limit? That is a um, wait, I forgot there's another upshift uh, from it being electric. All like right, normal. So it's, at the bare minimum, it's auto hit, or you could try to roll for a crit. You know, so that's I'm just gonna take that auto hit actually. 
All right, what's um, the damage? So that would be too sharp. Nice. Um, so light play is uh, good news. He drops mm-hmm. Cheetor. You do get him to drop Cheetor. Mm-hmm. Bad news is he's going to use his reaction. Mm-hmm. Because of all the upshifts he's been given mm-hmm. by good old Scorponaut. That is an auto crit. Mm-hmm. Uh, light plays. Mm-hmm. How attached are you to your arm? It's attached to me for sure. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> okay. That's a. Go ahead and take wow. a six sharp if you would. Okay. One, two, three. That's zero. One, two, three. So that's negative three. So I am uh down. But I think not technically dead. You haven't reached your uh, the negative max of your health yet. Yeah, that is correct. How much health do you have again? S- seven. Okay. I... <laughs> Top of the round, rotor back. How's it going? It, I scorpion still up. I assume he sure is. Uh, let's do another sword wag and make him stop. Just stop. Just go home. Just go home. 19? 19. Let's see it. Yeah, Rotorak, give me flavor. Ooh. Uh. So, no head? <laughs> you know what? It beats Taste and Tail. I'm trying so hard to figure (laughs) out what part is the vital part and getting confused by the animal pits. I'm going to, like, spin him around and cut the stinger off. How's that sound? (laughs) Against all odds, the stinger does end up being vital and he just drops dead. (laughs) You're not sure how that works. I guess that worked out. You're not sure how that works biologically, but it does. Well, you see, the obvious answer is he just had a lot of energon in there. So he has a lot less energon that, than he's supposed to. That makes to. sense. I think he died from shock. His spark is in his tail. Energon is stored in the tail. <laughs> 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 All right, mean? anything else? No, I'm good. All right, Rhinox, convert to bot mode. Just going to unload on Megatron. No. Going to unload some more. No. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Uh, Primal. Gonna run up. Convert to bot mode. Clearly punching him doesn't work, so he's gonna stab him. He's gonna stab him again. Yeah, so just stabs him in the back, which does hurt. I will give you credit, Primal. That actually did hurt. Maybe <laughs> if you let your animal instinct out more, you would have won the war eons ago. Yes. Shut up! Well, he's in bot mode. What is, where's the logic in that? You know what he meant? Shut up. Megatron's turn. Uh, also, uh, side note, are twin weapons just a thing in Beast Wars? Yeah. Okay. I, I, was, I was starting to see a pattern. And, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a thing. Okay. So first off, it's going to aim at Cheetor. Oh. Bro, leave my boy alone! He's received damage this turn, blah, 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 upshifts. Mm-hmm. Just going to aim his uh, T-Rex hand at Cheetor. Uh, Hello, Barry, have a blaster. He just executes what? Cheetor in ah. front of Primal. No! Oh. No! I did warn you all, after all. How many more must it take, I wonder? And... Turn back around to Light Blaze. God! Stop it! She's already dead! Uh, Light Blaze, um, how are you feeling right now? Currently unconscious. No, you're not. Oh, that's worse, actually. Yeah, so you're on the ground. Got beaten up, you lost your arms. What's going through your mind right now? What am I looking up at? Because I'm assuming there's something in my face currently. Uh, Megatron aiming his T-Rex hand at you. You see something glowing. Uh Uh-oh. That's bad. Have you any more smart remarks, young one? 
Yeah. Even if you kill me, it ain't gonna change the fact that you're a two-bit lizard. Halfway through lizard, he just cuts you off with his... What may as well be a flamethrower. Uh, go ahead and take another four fire damage, if you would. That is, in fact, uh, my health in the negative. Mm -hmm. The good news is, now you know how Gallows felt. Just, you know, spread across your entire body. Uh, uh-oh. So I guess what's running through Lightblaze's head is she's being melted into slag. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh, who's gonna... Just to... Are they gonna, are they gonna tell Red Alert? Will she know what happened to me? For anyone with headphones, go and uh, play the song I just posted in the in-game chat. You're sick, you know that? <laughs> Such heroic nonsense. Yes. Quasar, what's up? Uh, uh. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I'm flying straight at that frag. Mm hmm. You're on top so, of me. So, yeah. I'm like, no, no, I am. I, okay. I was going to literally just put myself on, like, whatever his face is and blast him in the face with hot lead. So I will be at a downshift. Is it one? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I can still get an auto crit then if I only downshift once. That'd be four, eight, 12. 12 damage. 12 damage. Oof. So uh, how are you? How exactly is Quasar doing this 12 damage? Uh, well, he's in dragon mode. Mm hmm. And I think. He would just like use his hand and pull his head back and then shoot him in the face. Alright, so uh Quasar, you basically dark of the moon Megatron him. It's like yeah. half his head is now missing. Oh, legitimately. Wow. Good. It's only surprising that he's still standing, honestly. I'm just gonna roar in his face. Is that your turn? Can I roll for intimidation? <laughs> If it would make you feel better. Yes. Do I get an upshift because I got a uh, him in the face? Sure, why not? Oh, sweet. Oh, God. Well, I think in my first reformat, I put my thing down. Yeah, it's only a D2. All right, so it would be a D4 then. Oh, a D4. Okay, oh, I'm glad. Oof. Go ahead and roll that D2. Wait, did you just say, is it an upshift or an edge you're giving an me? An upshift. So, okay. make, take that D2 and just make re-roll it as a D4. Oh. Not that it makes a huge difference, but I'm letting you have this one. <laughs> Can I use worth a shot? <laughs> sure, why not? Can you use it for oh. combat? It's not technically a combat attack. No, no, can you use it during combat? Can I? Let oh, me look. Uh, I ask, because my infiltration thing, I can't. Uh, worth a shot. Once per scene, oh yeah, no, I can't. Uh -huh. So, shush. Uh, e, four, three, seven, eight, nine, two, it's still ten. Anything else? No, that's, I already did enough this turn. I'm just hanging on. All right. Maximal air razors turn. I'm just gonna remove the the dead ones from the initiative to make my life easier. Wow. There we go. I can still see that her numbers. It's it's fine. I said make my life easier, not make your life easier. Mm. So air razors turn, bird mode, ka ka. Give Megatron a taste of his own medicine. Not that it does anything. He's going to use his last reaction. Blah, blah, blah. Upshifts. 
this is the last turn that those actually affect him, because I do balance these things. Four damage to Air Razor. She is knocked out of the sky, but at least she's not dead. You know what? Gallus is just going to run up to him. He's going to punch him. That does nothing. It's not the Gallus is weak. He's just hilariously strong. Just uselessly punches him, and he, he just blocks it. Horizon, what you doing? Uh, same thing as last turn, but Angie. All right. So, her, l l let me hear what what is Horizon's reaction to all this? Uh, the closest thing you're gonna get to a good old scream that I will not do in mic. Okay, do it away from the mic. Mm, no, I'd rather not. Aw. I, I, there, there's people in this house. There's people in the house, and sounds like a skill issue. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Screen them out of the house. Anyway, uh, yeah, six sharp. Uh, lose three more uh, toughness. All right. So I guess what's running through Horizon's head right now? Let me hear hear your thoughts. Well, so lost my lost a pseudo little brother. I I made in the past eight hours. Lost a mom, sister, friend. <laughs> That's going in quotes. I mean, we already we already made this joke in Araya. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, just really want to tear this guy to pieces. And in a way, you are. Is that your turn? Yes. Right, top of the round, Rotorback. Ah. <sighs> I can't in fact get there. Okay. Does being closer do more damage or do does being closer have any benefit to the mini missiles? Uh, I would no. argue it is worse. Just because there is a certain range of effectiveness for the missiles, you do have to be a certain range away. Does Light Blaze look like dead dead? Like, what am I seeing? Because uh, I was, like, distracted. Okay, so, first of all, her arm is just straight up gone. Her arm was eaten. Oh. And yeah. she was just melted into a fine, uh, melted gray statue. Oh, my God. Wait, can he do that? Primes don't die, right? <laughs> Let's use the sword. Let's use the big sword. Oh, come on. That doesn't do squat, right? He just swats it away. Great. I don't mean he disarms you, he just swats it as you're swinging. Yeah. Like, deflect it. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Anything else on your turn? No. Alright. Rhinox's turn. It's going to be a very tricky shot, so he's going to have to take some down shifts. No. That would be impressive if it hit. He, it's getting closer. How much stuff does he have? A lot. Minus six? Minus six. Still yeah. a lot. Mm. Good news, it is Optimus Primal's turn. And he he's also raging. He is going to use a power I gave him that I am going to have to censor out. He's going to go eight. Scrap. Woo. Woo. Dang it. Oh, wow. Huh? Still got one more. Oh, wow. And that one's a crit. Four, so that's six damage in total. Almost there. That does do some serious damage, but not quite there yet. Megatron's turn. Going to aim at Air Razor. Oh dear. Lots of 28s this session. That's interesting. That's a good number. It is a good number. Oh dear. Okay, so... How do I put this delicately? Bye-bye, party. Yeah, so... First he uses... He, for those of you who don't know Beast Wars, he does have his tail in bot mode as like a blunt weapon, basically. So just swats air razor out of the sky and then 
just bites her head off. Jesus. Gallows' turn. Hopefully he does what he does best. Gallows' turn. Yes. No, it's my turn. Wait. Oh, right. I I was talking about Ares and got mixed up. Thank you. All right, Quasar. Uh, okay, so I'm still on space. I'm going to pump another eight damage into him, and the last one's going to be the elemental jet. All right, Quasar, give me flavor. So with the first two shots, I take out the other side of his head. And... Oh, I think I did this in the first... In the zero session that we did. Did you? Uh, what was it? I think I just full send right like down like his throat, just boom. All right. May I add a bit that I'm itching to get off my chest because I feel like it would fit? Sure. All right. So right after he just murders Air Razor, you know, he's trying to get under primal skin. So he just says, you know, deep down you're enjoying this. Who would you be without a war? What would you do without me, Primal? And Primal just looks at Quasar and says, Time to find out. As Quasar executes him, basically. Would anyone like to give me alertness? You know what? Uh, any uh, sense? Or... I'd say it's visual. Thank you. 25? 25. Um, you're about to have some uh, unwanted guests. Now that you've done no! the hard work for them. I'm going to shoot behind Primal. You actually do hit someone against all odds. Got it. Uh, you knock Nova Prime's air razor out of the sky. Oh, okay. That, that's, what, that's why there are two. Right, okay. Yes. Yeah, so you see the last one that you didn't meet. Uh, Die Atlas making his grand debut. I do thank you for doing the work for us. Nope, nope, not doing this. Just gonna shoot you and get it over with. I'm just oh. going to keep the same initiatives for my own sanity. It's technically still the same fight, so... Sure yeah. is. So, yeah, so that'd be rotor back. Oh, sorry. So, since this is gonna take a minute, uh, let's hear everyone's reactions so far. What's it called? A blood rage? <laughs> Lots of screaming and crying. Lots of lifting the visor to wipe tears. Gee, access how this is gonna go. Boo. Mm. Boo. Boo this man. Boo, I say boo. It's literally what his name is, though. <laughs> I think I deserve a story point for that. No. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, top of the round. Uh, top of the round, Rotorback, what you doing? Also, on, let me assess the battlefield. While you do that, you hear Grindor's music over the comms, and once again, it is as tone deaf as you can get, just by sheer coincidence. Oh, did you post more music? Yes, in the in-game chat. <laughs> Why both versions? And they're different songs entirely. <laughs> and they're about animals, what do you expect from me? Uh, our own five gives me hives. I'm I'm just gonna go for Primal's still standing, right? Oh yeah. Okay. He uh, doesn't look happy about any of what just happened, but he's still alive. Yeah, I bet. I'm I'm gonna go for Horn Person. Ah oh, yes, Mr. Die Atlas. Let's the try the finesse version of the sword. Oh, wow. right. Uh he dodges out of the way. Ah. At but 22? just barely. But just barely. God dang. Okay. Anything else? Nope. That was pitiful for such a weapon. You are a disgrace of a warrior. I get that a lot. Anything else? Nope. You should call him mean names. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to. Dummy, dumb, dumb, poo head, dummy. All right, Jaxus's turn. 
<laughs> you know, Rotorback, he really likes that sword. He's going to take it for himself. Oh. Yeah, so Rotorback, he, like, scans you from afar, and you can see, like, this hard light construct forming around him that's, like, vaguely Rotorback-shaped uh, and forms, oh. like, a lot hard light replica of your sword. <laughs> oh. Interesting. <laughs> Ah. And Rotorback, would you like to give me another swing for that, since it is a copy of your sword? Oh, I hate this. Giaxis is a wimp, we all knew this. <laughs> Primal's going to turn around, see the corrupted air razor, which I didn't realize. Did I post that in the chat already? Yes, I did. Yeah, you did. This is a disgrace. What is this? The thing we were telling you about. That's just pride. Gallows cuts him off. Read the room, Aftol! <laughs> Go ahead. What's up? My name is Light Blanks, and I am the second youngest person to die today. <laughs> <laughs> Primal's going after Die Atlas. He looks like the biggest threat right now. The swords seem to be a big hit right now. So, apparently not. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. That does it. <gasps> that does it, at least. <gasps> Minus four to his health, because it's a crit. All right, we're getting there. That's his turn. Rhinox's turn. A nerd is trying to beat him up. You can imagine how this is going to go. I don't know if these rolls anything could happen. Yeah, you know. That. That hits. That also hits. <laughs> Just straight We're up beating great. up this nerd. Uh, Jaxus has the zombie equivalent of a black eye and missing teeth. So, no eye and missing teeth. Yes. That being said, would someone like to give me an alertness? Uh, sight based or no? It sure is, buddy. Oh, boy. Sure is. Wow. Yeah, so, twenty nine. Okay. Um, that was crit. Horizon. Um, while. Yeah. yeah. So during like the beating up part, he actually does like turn Jaxus around just from sheer force, and like oh. during the half second that Jaxus looks in the eyes, um, it grows back. Yeah, that sounds right. The oh. bits that just got knocked out of him grow back. Uh. Do what you will with is that information. All, is it all fleshy? Yes. Fine. Evil Air Razor's mm -hmm. turn. Gonna new him up to Gallows. Can't believe Gallows is about to get corrupted. Uh. Oh. Ouch. She also gets another attack. Yeah, that does it. Okay. He's going to take six fire damage. And what Arazer does, if anyone's paying attention, she like specifically aims at his face. Like, <gasps> first attack swipes off the faceplate, and she's just going to say to him, show us your real face, as she gouges his talons into his face and just pulls down. Ow. Of course they do. Die Atlas's turn. Rotorback, how do you feel about your odds? Not uh, great. I'm guessing a 16 doesn't do it. Um, no, toughness is 17, evasion is 21. So. Yeah, so both of those whiff. You're just like so scared that you're just instinctively dodging out of his way. His very like precise lance strikes. Turn. Quasar, what you doing? Uh, so now that the person who killed Lightbase is down, I think he's maybe assessing the situation a bit more. I'm going to uh, to be at least back there. Quick, flash them. Yeah, well, I kind of got that uh i'm going to take three downshifts i'm gonna hit 
one of them for each attack. And I'm going to do the six stun. All right, six stun for all three of them? Yep. All right. We're running. It's bad. They are thoroughly stunned. So they can no longer move from their place until we, my next turn. Oh, uh, that's how uh, Jaxus is down. We need to move a statue to the med bay or at least onto our ship. Like, I don't know. Are we going to have time to do that? Like, are they going to leave us alone? Oh, uh, right. It's, it's I'll keep attacking them. I'll keep attacking them. They cannot move until my next turn. So I'll just okay. keep stunning them. It's actually for uh, however many turns your damage does. Oh, so it was six then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's 32 seconds. Half Why a minute. Keep, um, what do you keep getting 32 from? I don't know. Where do you keep getting That's 32 it. from? Is, What's so the six in times D&D six? 5e, one round of combat takes six seconds. Yes. No, no, we, no, we got that. But where's the two coming from? Yeah, where's the two coming from? Because six times six is thirty-six, my guy. Because it's two stun damage per damage. Oh. Brain oh. math. Yeah. Okay. That's why I was able to do that crazy high stun damage. No, no, I, I get that. I'm saying like your math is still off because like it's the two is there uh, because I... it's two stun is being done and so it's messing up how math happened. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're picking up what you're throwing down. Uh, anything else? Yeah. On your also, turn? I just I just grabbed the number from air. I don't know if 32 seconds is actually right, but uh, no, enough. I am I am trying to get everybody to run. We're getting back to the ship. Okay. Or to the hideout. I, can we pick up like Blaze's body? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Light blaze is the blaze. Do I need to roll anything to carry it, or am I uh, just good to carry it? Brawn. Brawn, okay. I will uh, help you with that as well. Are, if I combat. can. You are I still in D6, combat. Though. Oh. Yeah, because you're going to distract them. I, a 12. Okay. Light blaze is surprisingly heavy. Uh, but you know what? It is a crit, so you can like just barely... Uh, while you're carrying light blaze, your movement is halved, so but you can do That's, it. That is not too bad for me. So where would that put me, like, right now? Light blaze was here. Did you it is also it not your me? turn, so you can't move yet. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Right about there. So I mean, pre me preemptively me. that okay. twelve right, is good. happening, yeah. I guess. Just barely, but it's happening. Right, Quasar, cool. anything else? No, that was it. All right, Horizon, what you doing? Okay, uh, just gonna call to the group of people not dead that don't hate me. Uh, pick up whoever you can and go to and head to the ship. Rhinox is gonna pick up Geoxys. Oh. What? No. You know what? He's unconscious. I'll I'll I'll, I'll count it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, shoot Air Razor out of the sky. She is. Wow. <laughs> She's like clutching onto Gallows. Oh, uh, oh yes, a, re- a replay of the bird incident in, in the D and D campaign. Sorry, I was busy getting nom flashbacks. <laughs> what uh, to the bird? You'll have to find out on the D and D episode. I will probably never make. Uh, if any of you want says- a D and D story time video, comments, I guess. Anyway, um, also, uh, editor, please add like a two second pause when you said he was getting down flashbacks. <laughs> I'm the editor, of course I will, unless I forget. But uh, maybe yeah, uh, how much damage? Uh, six sharp, minus three evasion. Uh, the bird is knocked down. Like, not dead, dead just yeah, it's unconscious. Okay. Anything else? Uh, gonna reposition so I could help take care of Diatlas when it comes around. All right. Anything else? That's it. Yeah, Gallus is just clutching onto his like half torn off face. Took my face. Give me yours. And just yep. reaches down and just pulls Airazor's face right off. Uh, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. 
You know what the worst part is? Yeah. Starts growing back. I hate that. I really do. You're welcome. Anyway, uh, top of the round, we're back. What you doing? Sorry, right, one second. But Cal's didn't move. That would be a good uh, idea. Yeah, he just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna move to pick up uh, right. white boys and then leave. Right, Cal is uh, going to use these. movement because I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. I would like to strongly suggest to Gauss to pick up Cheetor and or Air Razor. Uh, he's strong enough to pick up both in one each arm. He is? Wow. Have you not noticed he is hilariously strong? Nope. There we go. After uh, yeah, uh, Rotorback could probably get off map if they blow enough reactions. Okay. So you're just going to run? Yeah, I'm taking Lightblaze's body and running for it. Alright. Runner back, you are off map. That is your turn. Jax is down. Primal's turn. He needs to vent some rage. Understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah, so he's just going to uh, distract Diatlas long enough for you guys to get away. Also, nope. might I make a recommendation for someone? Doesn't matter. Uh, sure. Uh, extract the thing those people came from, from Megatron's corpse. Wait, he has it? Yeah. We established oh. this. I forgot. Yeah. I also forgot to remind you, but he is, like, wearing it as, like, a medallion, like, tied around his neck. Because, mm. of course, he is. Of course, he is. Okay, with that knowledge in mind, could I do it during, could I retroactively do that during my turn? Yeah, I'll allow it. Because okay. I, the GM, forgot to tell you. So that's my bad. I'll just uh, adjust my movements to uh, reflect that. Okay, moving on. All right. Uh, Primal is distracting Diatlas. Just for funsies. I'm going to have him roll anyway. Yeah. The second one isn't as effective, but you do see Primal do some pretty serious damage as you're running away. That's and good. I'm just going to... Say that's end of combat, since you're all running. So cut back to safe house, then? Um, yes, uh, I thought we were going to the ship. Are you? Yeah, uh, I thought we specifically... Which one's closer? Definitely the uh, safe house. Yeah, then we'd stop there first, probably. Also, just so clear, I'm not going to leave Prowl behind. You don't have to worry about Primal, trust me. Okay. He's a beefy boy. And he's angry. I assume he's gonna figure it out and follow us at some point. Yeah, so... In, like, a holding area, you do have, like, the unconscious bodies of Jaxus and Air Razor. Uh, in the war room, you do have the bodies of Lightblaze, Cheetor, the other Air Razor. I feel like I'm missing someone. No, I'm that about covers it. Or... Oh, that's I'm everyone. You might have been thinking of Scorponok, which was theirs. Oh, and yeah. And Waspinator, which is also Megatron's. That reminds me. Is, is Waspinator alive again? We're gonna find out. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Good. He comes back with one hit point. All you guys hear as you're retreating is, The universe can never destroy Waspinator! And then you hear him get exploded again. I have several questions. Wow. It's what he does. It's what he does. Not even kidding. It's what he does. It's, it's what he does. That's his whole bit. It's his whole bit. <laughs> so... Okay, White Blaze, White Blaze's body is just, what? It's just char. It's just like nothing. Like, what am I looking at? Well, there is an arm missing, which is already bad on its own. But yeah, it has been really thoroughly scorched and pretty thoroughly melted. Is there any like our equivalent of life sciences? I know they exist, though. Uh, not remotely. Said, uh, 
Okay, time to open the matrix and point it at it and be sad and see if it does anything. No. Damn it. Okay, hear me out. Uh huh. I swap out Light Blaze's matrix with this universe's matrix. Oh. It's worth a shot? Yeah. Does that do anything? No. I thought I figured. All right. Uh, <sighs> Can I go to comms? Sure. Okay. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, bad. We're we're, we're gonna need some evac. Uh, why? Uh, several people down. Uh, we also have in a perfect universe prisoners of war. Uh huh. All right, I will figure something out. Yeah, but we we have a ship. Yeah, it's just like deploying the eh, ship stuff. You don't understand. Eh, I'll tell Light Blaze all about it. Anyway, uh, bye. Click. Uh, mm. Yeah, so what is the the mood in the war room right now? Sad. Our friend is dead. Sad. Yeah, yeah, like cold rage and like heat. You know those squiggly lines that come off of the heat, the tarmac in yeah. summer. Yeah, the he- that's the coming heat, off the of heat Quasar. waves. Yeah, the heat waves are coming off of Quasar right now. Hi, I'm dead. Hi, dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Damn oh, it. Oh, crap. It's a ghost. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I mean, dead. I mean, dead, Dad. I mean... Hi, Dad. I'm dead. Hi, Dad. I'm dead. Swipe doesn't good... have a dad. It's a good thing this wasn't in character. Yeah. I mean, you, you technically did have a dad. That's the, that, that's the name of the episode. Hi, Dad. I'm dead. Anyway... Anyone want to articulate their thoughts, or should we get this going? It's a moment of late. I should have gone for the stupid T-Rex guy first. It's the sad boys and Rotorbrack squad. No. The sad squad. <laughs> this is obviously out of character. Um... Oh How's yeah, we Gallus did pick up doing? Your... How's Gallows looking? Well, uh, pretty thick, uh, scarring. Um, like the robot equivalent of being able to see muscle and bone under there. Oh, oh. yeah, those talons went deep. Yeah. I don't know why I thought you were gonna stop at just the word thick. <laughs> right? He's a thick. It's pretty thick. Thick. He is pretty thick. Not gonna. Mm, I'm not going there. <laughs> this this is supposed to be a sad moment. We're anyway. Oh, why, why can't I use humor to alleviate when I'm in panic? <laughs> That's how I cope. I mean, out of character. I hope this is going somewhere. But yeah, in character, I'm devastated. Yeah, light blaze is dead. Uh, re get back to me with your new character when you get the chance. Anyway. Yeah. Wow, for real? Wow. Anyway, uh you guys do hear something coming from like the entrance. Uh okay. It's a lot yeah, of like pounding. That's not good. Is it gorilla pounding? You could say so. Yeah, Primal just bursts in in gorilla mode with something in his mouth. <laughs> uh, oh please tell me that's that was his head. Uh, he spits out his arm. Close enough. Woo. Ah. Just, just like storms in without even saying a word. I assume have... he sees and gets the vibe, though. Oh yeah. We have a medic on the way, and it's getting our ship. Without even saying a word, Primal just goes to like the the sciency part. Comes back with something in his hand, and like. Shove something in Horizon's hands. 
And he says, we had a deal. You fulfilled it. Get out of my universe. Wow. And then turns to Rhinox and said, you're a better leader than I could have possibly been. And just walks out. That's it? You, I, you're not going to help us? I, haven't you seen this happen before? Can't you do something? I, I, I just know. said we have a medic on the way. <sighs> okay. Okay, I look at the thing that uh, Primal gave me. Yeah, so what you have in your hands is the very reward you were promised. He has given you a, a transwarp key, which is an example of their most advanced piece of technology in this universe. Based on okay. the name he told you, you can probably surmise what it does. It transwarps keys. Uh, oh, we, it, it gets us we, out of here. Is what I. What uh, I so we already know. have the universe hopping stuff. That's a teleporter. We get places faster. Yeah, to reiterate the description he gave you a couple of sessions back, uh, it is something that can warp you all all across space and theoretically time. Right. Yeah, I guess cut to uh, being shuffled back into your ship. Yep. I'd like to roll for a vision. Sure. Uh, what I'm trying to get at is what happens if I try to use this transwarp key to go to do the maybe back in time thing. Give me conditioning. Thank you. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Um, someone with some familiar looking ears does put the idea in your head that you could go back and fix all of this, but you don't know what fix all of this specifically is referring to. Ears. Help me fill in the blank, please. No. Dang it. <laughs> Can I do another one to see if I remember who this is? Nah. He has that. He has the ability. He has hindsight. I'm not letting you have this one. Oh, fine. Who's ears? Have I ever mentioned how much I like Slicer's design? He just looks neat. Ears. I hate you so much. <laughs> but yeah, uh, cut to you shuffling back on your ship. Uh, what do? Uh, playing the funeral march on the way in. Go on. Are we at uh, that point? No, that, 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 that's the entire thought. Oh. What, what do, what's the protocol for this? Do we have like... Because this is the weird case, right? Like, I. Well, I plays was the one working on the protocol. Yeah, I. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Do we have robot last wills? Slicer, get us out of here. Just does the ship thing, ship rises, ship pew. On the ride back to your own universe, which is going to take a minute, has to build up speed to actually, like, jump. What's everyone doing in the downtime? Tossing Jaxus and Air Razor into separate cells, making sure they're restrained to the best of our ability. Going to sit menacingly in front of them on the opposite side of the cell doors. Give me that intimidation, buddy. I mean, they're unconscious. Oh, I thought you were just gonna wait until they woke up. I mean, I am, but like, that's not the, that's not the that's not the goal. All right, we can get to that later. What is everyone else doing right now? What are you doing with your downtime? Uh, I would like to maybe try and help Gallows get his face fixed up, if you'll let me. Yeah, so he's, like, trying to patch it up himself in the medical bay. Uh, the other staff are uh, preoccupied right now, we'll say. What? Would, <sighs> would you have tried to glean what they're doing, is the thing? Who? Medical staff. Would, 
No, who are you asking? Uh, Horizon. Like in... He's the one who asked, but in general. Uh, I, I'm not there for that, so. Oh. Okay. So, Chris, would you try and glean what they're doing? Um, yeah. Uh, give me that alertness. That's not terrible. Yeah, good enough. All right, so all of the medical staff and also Slicer are trying to figure out, like, anything they can to resuscitate Light Blaze. Based on their body language and how much Slicer is, like, wildly gesturing with his arms, it's not going well. Mm. I guess I'm just watching with, like, kind of, like, dead eyes. And then I see that ghost. Sorry? Sorry, go on. And I just see that Gallows is trying to patch himself up, and I go over and be like, "Come on, let let me let me help you." Quasar. I can see the what do you the want? wounds better than you. She was right, you know. You are your own person. It wasn't really fair for me to put all my baggage onto you. I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry that it took until she... I just shake my head. She really was the best of you. Damn. She sure was. Oh, come on. Let me help you. He swats your hand away. Quasar, you don't seem to get it, do you? Yep. And like, at you this said point, yourself that you're your own person. And at this point, he like puts down whatever medical tool he's trying to use on himself and like Gets in your face with his face, and yeah, that, that that's pretty gross, honestly. Like you, like every like little movement, you can see like the inner mechanisms moving and shifting. It's it's not a pretty picture. <laughs> nice, Quasar. I'm going to lay this out, and like even he's trying to articulate his words. There has always been something deeply rotten in me. I find it nearly impossible to drown out the constant cacophony of voices whispering in my ear, telling me I'm a monster, and you of all people want to help me? What's everyone else doing? Am I hearing any of this? Uh, you, can be, you, are can, you? you can be wherever you want, buddy. I assume they told me to leave the room when they started working on Light Blaze, so yeah. maybe I'm within earshot of this. Yeah, it's a specific like department of the medical center, so uh yeah, give me an alertness to see how much of it you hear. Or like glean or whatever. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me let's say nineteen. Yeah, you hear all of that and like a few words in, you do get the idea to like just peek around your corner to see what's going on. Yeah, I, I step in the room in a way that like Gallows can see me, but I don't make any motions to stop it, just to you know let him know that there's a witness. Basically, <laughs> he sees you, goes to um. It looks as if he's going to say something to you and then, like, the medical staff walk out. Uh, specifically, they're chased out after you see uh, miscellaneous medical instruments just being tossed at them. What? What? Just tossing. Well, it's not the medical staff. Oh, great. Is Slicer still in the room? He sure is. Oh, good. So... Um, you're, you're Gallows, no. right? Oh, hi, it's Staples, valued member of the medical team. Is it Staples? Are you Staples? Yes, Staples. Okay, I can't keep them straight. I mean, like, we, we only gave, like, 
one of them voices. So that that's fair. Oh yeah, it was Tourniquet you gave the customer service voice to. Yes. Yeah. At least let 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 one of us look at that, please. She might. The fact we focused on the dead while there were living who needed help is not good. Let us help, please. Which? There wasn't... Light Blades is gone. There, there was nothing that we could have done. But... There are people who are still alive who could use help. So please let us help. We're primes, though. Why can't... Uh, fine. All right. Tell me what you want me to help with. Grindor trying to be sensitive, but still kind of comes off as tone deaf. And game chat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So those of us in the medical bay, we, we got a chance to talk with Light Place a little bit. Um. Someone's going to have to tell uh, Red Alert that she's passed. And possibly someone else is going to need to get in contact uh, with Zero. As uh, she was the one who was uh, sort of in, in charge of the specifics of the direction we took, y you all will need to um, scrap. You'll have to figure out who's going to be working with what information that we, that has been gathered so far, figure out where we're supposed to go. We can handle all the paperwork uh, for the med bay but I'm pretty sure she had at least two other departments who were reporting under her and so those duties will have to be figured out uh, we could divide that up amongst ourselves for the time being I, I guess that would be good I appreciate it. Yeah. She cared a lot about you guys. <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and not to kill the moment, but throughout this conversation, there it is like slightly interspersed with the sounds of like clanging coming from the operating room. Damn it. And after I. At least make it so you don't have to worry about any further complications from your wound, Mr. Gallows. I think the rest of us are going to have to try and get back in there and sedate him. The rest of us medical staff, that is. You all have... have to go figure out your duties, I suppose. <sighs> he doesn't verbally agree to any of this, but more like this might as well happen. Okay. Oh, I guess staples. Have fun sedating the mad scientist. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they all stun rounds as part of their medical outload loadout. I guess does anyone want to help them sedate him? Yeah, I'd love to, but I'm not. I'm not in, in the room. Do you Unless it to? like hmm? pisses him off a lot that I'm the one doing it or something. Anyone else want to get in on uh, dealing with the, the slicer? Uh, I do have stun damage. <laughs> I'll stun him. I'll gently pull him away. There's only so much you can do, bud. Come on. Yeah, so he, like, 
swats your hand away, and he's like, if you're not going to help, then get out of the slagging operating room. What? What's he doing? Whatever he can at this point. This is game does it look like... Uh, does it look like he's making any headway? What was that? Sorry, what was that? Starting to cut out on said, my end a little bit? Does it seem like he's making any headway? Or is he just, like, w trying whatever might work? Basically the equivalent of throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks, but... What Slicer here doesn't seem to understand, or if he's just refusing to accept, is that you can patch up a corpse however you, however much you want, but that doesn't make it less of a corpse. Slicer. Just, just get... No. Let her rest. She deserves peace. Let her rest. The, the mission isn't over yet. No one gets to rest until we find whoever blew up the planet or whatever. I... And we will. But doing this to her now is disrespectful. You can give up like you always do, but I, I won't. I, I can't. I, I know she didn't value my skill set, but I, I really looked up to her. She made me feel like I was actually wanted. I can't lose that. And at this point, he just like, not collapses, but like down on the table where all of his tools are. So, uh, this may be me extrapolating, but I'm guessing Lepley's at least um looks like herself no longer like half melted looking still thoroughly melted but at least recognizable you can't really do anything about the missing arm though come on come on he's just going to begrudgingly leave Anyone who is present, would you like to give me an alertness? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, boy. I will use... What would it be? Would it be hearing or... Hmm. Rotorback. Uh-huh. That is a lot of timing. Uh -oh. Wow. Yeah, you all just leave the medical room. Uh, what do... I <laughs> can I switch through some visor modes and see if they're all like that? Sure. What would that be? I I don't know. Infrared night vision, maybe. I no, I got that. Just what would Do I you... have you roll for that? Alertness again. Uh, alertness. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, sure. Is this a ghost? Is this happening? Hmm, 16. Can, can uh, Rotorback see ghosts? Is this what's happening? <laughs> Rotorback can see dead people! Yeah, uh, Rotorback, there's some weirdness going on in that room, but you can't really... You're... Ooh. Don't put this the wrong way, but you're not like a science-y person. Yeah, who do I know that would understand what I'm... <sighs> can so I, I like... Think... Can I screenshot my own eyeballs and send it? To <laughs> Are your reflexes quick enough to do it, as you see it as the thing? I would hope. I mean, I feel like the visor would help with that, because it's literally, like, we've established, it's like a pair of glasses, but it's yeah. a camera, basically. You know what? Give me a targeting. Daddy. Okay, that makes sense. And I'm good at that. You are good at that. That's why I had to get a freaking nine. Um, Son of a... Uh, you are fast enough to like take the screenshot, but it doesn't come out very well. Uh... Uh, 
I'm not saying it is like a big lens flare, but it looks like there's a lens flare right in the middle of it. Uh, is anyone else seeing anything kind of weird around Lightblaze's body? Can I take a look and use worth a shot? Yeah, sure. Kind of like a lens flare, or I don't know. I'm going to use a story point. Go right ahead. Probably a good idea. Hey, that's fair. Do I see anything? All right, so through your... I assume you're seeing this through, like, a scope or something? Yeah, I'm using uh, the... What was it? It was a monocle? Oh, yeah, we flavored that as a... I forgot he had a monocle this entire time. No, it's whenever he wants to use his gun, he just puts it up to his eye. So now he's just kind of looking at through it. Bridge of Terabithia style. There's a movie I haven't thought about in 20 years. Anyway, you feel like you kind of get what Rotorback is getting it, but you yourself do not see anything. That said, you do hear something. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Just going to adjust my mic for the effect. They keep dying all around you. You see? I kind of, wow, well, what's so, not sneer, but like growling, but like doing the little, the little. Snarl? Yeah. Like I lip my, I lift my lips a bit and show my teeth. Oh, so that, that gets to him. Sorry? So that gets to him then. That, that touches some nerves, yeah. that rustles some jimmies. Yeah, yeah. All right, any other uh, business for the night? I'm going to call zero. All right. Uh, ring, 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 ring. There is zero. Ah, yes, Ryzen, I was told you would. You were going on an expiration. Um, I wasn't expecting you to make the report. Um, Don't take this the wrong way, but Lightblaze is much better at reporting these things, so go ahead and get her on the line if you would. I can't. Hmm? I can't. Why not? I I can walk you through it. You just press that button and then slide it to the light blaze icon and then press uh, Zero. transfer. Zero. I'm okay. I'm I'm not stupid. You know that, right? You can tell he's thinking something. I do not I do not appreciate this pause, Zero. We don't need this right now. Are you two there for that? For this? Oh, I wasn't. Actually, he was in the thing. Never mind. Yeah. Group call. Okay. Uh, Skype call and noise. You two are now in the group call, the group meeting. Yep. Uh, you see Zero looking like he's in the middle of a really deep thought. Zero, I do not appreciate this pause. My place told me she doesn't like when I lie. So well, this, and this spit bit, out. This, that, that's a bit of a revelation to me, Horizon. You uh, have a certain air to yourself, like the way you carry yourself, but... It gives off a certain vibe. You know what I mean? She's gone, Zero. What? She's gone. What do you mean, she's gone? In the last expedition... She... Got overwhelmed. Like he just raises hands to face, just like lowers face. You you know. Mm-hmm. Like there's a good thirty seconds where he's just processing that. Okay. Effective immediately. You're 
ship is to return to Cybertron. I just abandon this mission. We, we've lost too many bots exploring the universe. It's not worth it. And I'm going to end it there.